Hi, and welcome to the first release of Teach Yourself Stuff App Game Kit Tech Tips. In this video, I will render a poem using a single line of code without the need for multiple text objects. This allows us to make efficient use of our text objects and can be massively useful in text adventures, RPGs, and any games where large multi-lined blocks of text need to be used. It also gives us an advantage in that far fewer text objects need to be formatted and set up, thus reducing our code. To create a new line within the text object, we need to insert a carriage return object. In App Game Kit Tier 1, we do this by using the char10 command. By inserting it into your string, you're effectively telling the program to press the return key and jump down to a new line. Any time char10 appears on a new line, um, a new line will be created. So let's have a look at the code. I will just copy and paste this. And as you can see here, we're starting our program off normally. We've got the uh, set sync 30 rates um, a second, and uh, we're setting it to a nice and uh, battery friendly mode. And my text has been created. We've got our text objects, and we've got the first line of our William Shakespeare poem, which is a fairy song. Then I've added two char tens here, so two of those. That basically means two carriage returns. And then I've got the first line over a hill, over a dale. Then we've added a carriage return. Um, through the brush, through the briar, uh, carriage return, over the park, over pale, etc, etc. So any time um, a line of the poem needs to go down, I've simply added char 10. So if we quickly run this program and just demonstrate it in action, you will now notice that even though it's all on one line of code here, we've got multiple lines extending down. And of course, because they are text objects, they can be resized and scaled. So you can have it in a little window. You can basically place it wherever you want. And this is just a single text object. And of course, if you want to create text from files, it's simply a matter of uh, putting in a um, file like this into your program and using the read line command. And that time, and that by doing this, you basically just add the um, char 10 to your string every time you load a line, and that will act as a carriage return. So it'll allow you to type out very large dialogue files and then format them um, properly. So there we go. That's my tech tip for today. And uh, that's how you add a carriage return to your text objects.